all hella bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today we are back with a very special unboxing. This time we have a very special early unboxing. Yes, the plug filled me in, man. They gave it to me early, but they told me I cannot tell you guys where I got it from or else they will be fired. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And today's unboxing comes from the people of Coach. Yes, man, this is the new release, Coach Platinum. I've been sitting on this one for a few days or so, but now I'm here to give you my first impressions. So as you guys know, I really, really, really enjoy the original Coach. Shout out to this unboxing knife. My guy got it for me. He said, hey, man, I want you to switch it up between your unboxings. And I said, all right, cool, cool, cool. So this is a SOG knife. Have no idea what that means, but I think it's special. So here we go, man. Coach for men platinum. The platinum edition. So, uh. so here's your box. And inside this box is something called a fragrance. This is Coach for Men Platinum. My wife likes the bottle. I kind of like it too. It looks platinum and translucent at the same time, if that, if that makes sense. But the top is like chromish. I'm pretty sure she's going to give you guys some good B roll. And you also have this hang tag to let you know that it's Coach. All right, man. So let's see what we got here. If we think about the original Coach fragrance, that was really mass appealing, in my personal opinion. It was a great fragrance. So obviously, like, really? Three hours later. What the fuck? All right, let's try this again. Okay. Woo! This one is a winner. Yes. Now, in my opinion, this one is different from the original in a few ways. It has a bit more depth to it, and it's also more complex. Like some of the things that people would complain about in the original, like, oh, this one is very simple. It's a copy of this, it's a copy of that. This one takes it and just amplifies it, makes it just hmm, 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 next level. I still feel like this one is a bold masculine fragrance. Um, definitely has some more backbone to it. I think just like the original Coach for Men, this one is going to be like a crowd pleaser. I don't really feel like you're gonna come across many people who don't like this one. And it definitely has some familiar nuances to the original. I feel like this one has a bit of vanilla in it. That's kind of all the only note that I'm getting in this one is some vanilla. It has a bit of earthiness to it as well. Kind of smells like it has some pineapple or some type of fruity piece in there. I I'm, not, I'm not sure what it is, it smells like it might be a pineapple, some type of fruitiness. There's some sweetness to this one in that backbone there, but I do like it, especially now that it's spraying. This one is a Eau de Parfum Concentration. Again, really like it. I believe this one releases like in August, August 16th, August 6th, August 8th, August 18th, something like that. Whatever it is, it's not out in the US right now, but it will be out very soon. Like I went into a few stores and they had these and they were like, hey, you can do pre-orders. I'm like, I'm not doing pre-order for a coach. Like, come pick it up or you can sell it to me now. And they did. 98 bucks for this one after taxes. Really not a bad price. If you are into like, you know, your Sauvages, your, your product carbons, um, things in that vein or line of fragrances, then I think you're going to like this one. If not, then you might want to pass on this one. But I feel like this one is going to be easy grab, a dumb reach. If you're looking for something to wear to office, you're looking for something for a casual day, just out and about, man, this one you can grab and go. As far as the performance, I'm not 100% sure what the performance is going to be like, because obviously I just unboxed it. Again, this one takes the original DNA, makes it more refined, gives it a bit more touch of class, more backbone, more depth, and this one is a solid release from the House of Coach. So two bangers off the rip. Like the original Coach for Men is a banger. This one seems to be a banger so far, and I think this one is going to take away some of those concerns that people had with the original. Some people said that the original was too fleeting, that it didn't last, that it was like not bold enough, even though it was meant to be a bold fragrance, or if it was too reminiscent to like you know, the Savages, etc., those pieces of the world. Now, I'm gonna say that this one is still reminiscent 
to those. So if you are into those type of fragrances that are, are popular, um, something that's going to be easy to wear, get you compliments, then I think this one is going to work. That's my official thoughts on this one so far. If you've gotten your nose on this one, comment below and let me know. If you're looking forward to this one, comment below and let me know. If you're just saying, look, Big Baby, I didn't like the original, and I'm not going to like this one either. No matter what you say, I would love to hear that as well. As always, I'm your boy, Big Baby. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And we bringing you the early, full presentation. Everything that you need, baby. Hit the goddamn bell.